Hey there, welcome back. Here video 5 of 6 videos for the several solutions I made for what I call my perfect survival knife. Beginning with the very smallest uh, EDC versions which I carry every day in my pocket to the small belt solutions with small folder knives from Extreme Horatio in this version and Victoria Knox in this version and in the last video I showed you this pack which is with the ARIO 2 and the Nemesis in a modified version both uh, in a way that these blades cannot um, harm people and cannot be opened uh, one-handed single-handed uh, I forgot to mention that in this uh, version here is a hope you can see it a Leatherman squirt included in the compartment here which can be removed easily and is secured by this lanyard uh, it's pretty much the same as on the EDC version here and now we're going to talk about this little fella which is my um, you can call it the perfect survival knife with a fixed blade, which is in this uh, video the Ontos. No, don't let me lie. Uh, on this version we got the Ontos and here we got the Salvans, which is the civil version of Extreme Ratio knife for survival. So, let's get it on. I told you um, in this version here is the Um, second blade, a Extrema Ratio RAO 2.5, which is the chassis of the RAO 2, and the main blade is from the RAO 1, which is a Tanto tipped blade. Um, you can compare it here to the RAO 2 blade. So I removed from the RAO 1 the blade and put it on the chassis of the RAO 2, which is more reliable and more stable. Um, due to this secondary little screw here which secures the main screw from getting loose. So, this is the additional blade for finer works but you can also use it for digging as a lever, um, for betoning, for carving, for everything because uh, it's a real good uh, blade which could be a replacement for a fixed blade. But nevertheless on this survival pack here is also as a main blade the Selvans which is one of the finest blades I ever found in my entire life uh, after lots of knives from Puma from uh, all kind of brand this is really one of the best survival knives I ever saw on the market if you want to compare it to the on toss. Let me just grab it here. Um, it is made by the Italian survival company and uh, is a variation of the on toss, which you can see here. The on toss is a bit longer. Um, both knives have a very good grind a tanto like blade shape which is very durable both are extremely good choppers have a thick spine for betoning what I really like is that the uh, blade is prolonged to the handle so when betoning you cannot destroy the handle um, besides that on uh, this version the handle was special. It is a four preen material which has no hot spots. It's very good in the hand and uh, extremely good for chopping uh, because of its prolongation. And in this version, which you cannot buy in store, I put that handle from the uh, Selvans here to the Ontos 2. And the Ontos here has also serrations on the back side. Here, this is. Uh, suggested to use for the fast tracker so 
seldom to be seen both at once. Here the ontos and the selvans together. Uh, both very good knives. I really like them. I, I merely couldn't pick one out. So uh, this is a lanyard uh, which I can use for fine works and uh, for betoning I cut it loose and put it on my wrist. So this is made of cobalt steel and 69 from Bucca. The brand is Extreme Ratio and as you can see here it is the Salvans which is one of the finest survival knives you can find in the entire world due to my opinion. Um, it is in a Mori compatible sheath uh, which has a variety of possibilities. You can detach things um, you can put it on your belt, you can put it on molly. Um, I attached here a wrist band uh, with paracord with a mini lighter, uh, a mini LED, a compass, ferro rod and a signal whistle which is on every of my knives. This here is the pouch from the REO2 and as you can see it has a molly system and you can attach it to the other knife to the pouch of the um, of the salvans so um, it looks bulky it looks beefy but indeed it is very good um, wearable you can uh, carry it around it doesn't disturb what else does we find here um, here is some more paracord more paracord and here is snare wire for making traps. This here is an LD22 torch which is uh, quite nice 215 lumens max. Um, it is waterproof, it is shockproof, it has a variety of different uh, modes, strobo modes, uh, SOS mode etc. Uh, and I attached this pouch uh, here, but you can uh, detach it and wear it on your belt. Same to this one here. In here you can find several solutions for sharpening. Um, all in all we got uh, three solutions for sharpening here. First in here is a um, diamond sharpener, the original one from Extrema Ratio, the Italian um, very good brand for military knives and civilian knives um, with a how-to. Here we got a um, stone sharpening system from Victor Knox and a, a fine sharpening system from made of ceramic. And this is a another sharpening tool with a metal edge and a ceramic edge which is also quite nice. So you got a variety of possibilities to sharpen your knife. Besides that in here is the survival compartment. Here is a bag and in the bag is a plastic bag which you can use for carrying around things uh, which you get uh, out of water or to transport water in it. So in here is a water bag um, for water purification. This here is a pencil sharpener to make slices of wood for Kindle. And in here it's a bit chaos but uh, everything is accessible and cannot get lost. So you can put it out at once. We got the diamond sharpener. We got an extra LED which is the E1 from Phoenix. We got a little Swiss knife for fine works. We got a ferro rod with a compass. And we got the main blade. And I attached that all with a thing, I don't know the English name in Germany, we call it Shekel. So you can easily access everything at a time. And it's this is quite handy and robust from sailing because you can easy lock and it is secured fine so and in here is the Leatherman Surge this blade here is wonderful 
but it has two problems. One, this is a blade which is longer than 12 centimeters, so you can have it in, in Germany in your house, on your own yard or garden, but uh, when taking it outside you need to have a purpose. So that means for camping or um, traditional or whatever. So you cannot carry it around uh, careless. Um, as I told you, these versions of knives were designed and combined from me to have a solution which cannot get uh, in, uh, involved in German weapon law. This here is a problem because this is a single-handed opening knife. So, um, but nevertheless, it's a very good one. Um, we got different blades. We got scissor. We got uh, saw. We got pliers and inside some screwdrivers. So we got a very good blade for chopping and doing all the hard work. We got a replacement blade and I decided here to take the Tanto version because this was originally designed for survival purpose. We got a combination of survival things to have light and fire. We have water purification in this compartment here and a chainsaw you can use to cut trees. Here is a little pencil and uh, we got a multi-tool. So that's in my survival knife. Hope you enjoyed.